Okay people, let's talk AI, it's not some sci-fi movie anymore. This stuff is real, and it's everywhere. From the moment your phone wakes you up with a personalized playlist, AI is in the house. It's suggesting your next online purchase, driving your GPS, and maybe even writing your emails. Don't worry, this one's all me. AI is like that friend who always has suggestions, sometimes helpful, sometimes creepy. Think about it. AI is filtering your spam, personalizing your newsfeed, and even helping doctors diagnose diseases. But here's the kicker. While we're busy being amazed by AI's cool tricks, we haven't figured out all the rules yet. It's like giving a toddler the keys to a Ferrari. Fun for five seconds, potentially disastrous after that. That's where the law comes in. We need some ground rules, folks, before things get out of hand. We need to make sure AI is used for good, not for evil, or even just plain awkward. Right now, the world of AI feels a bit like the Wild West. It's a new frontier, full of promise and potential, but also fraught with uncertainty and risk. Just like the pioneers of old, tech companies and innovators are racing to stake their claim in this uncharted territory. But unlike the Wild West, where the dangers were often physical, the risks here are more abstract and far-reaching. Everyone's rushing to stake their claim, eager to be the first to discover the next big breakthrough. The atmosphere is electric, filled with the hum of innovation and the thrill of possibility. But in this mad dash, there's a glaring absence of something crucial, oversight. Imagine a bustling city with no traffic lights, no speed limits, and no police officers. Chaos would ensue, right? That's pretty much where we are with AI right now. The technology is advancing at breakneck speed, but the rules and regulations are lagging far behind. We've got self-driving cars trying to navigate our streets, algorithms making life-changing decisions, and AI systems being integrated into every aspect of our lives. These technologies hold incredible promise, but they also come with significant risks. What happens when an AI system makes a mistake? Who's held accountable? And nobody's quite sure who's responsible when things go sideways. Is it the fault of the programmer who wrote the code, the company that deployed the technology, or the AI itself? These are questions we need to answer, and soon, spoiler alert, they will. Think about it. It's not a matter of if, but when. As these technologies become more prevalent, the likelihood of something going wrong increases. And when it does, the consequences can be severe. What happens when a self-driving car causes an accident? The aftermath can be chaotic and confusing. Police officers, insurance companies, and lawyers all trying to figure out what went wrong and who should be held accountable. It's a legal and ethical quagmire that we're not yet prepared to navigate. Who's to blame? The car? The programmer? The company that made the car? Or maybe the AI itself? These questions are not just academic, they have real-world consequences that affect people's lives and livelihoods, the company that made the car, or maybe the AI itself. These are not just theoretical questions, they have real-world implications that we need to address, and it's not just about self-driving cars. AI is being used in healthcare, finance, and even criminal justice. The stakes are incredibly high. Or maybe the AI itself. And it's not just about robots going rogue, the potential for harm is vast and varied. From biased algorithms that discriminate against certain groups of people, to AI systems that make life-or-death decisions in healthcare, the implications are profound. AI has the potential to be incredibly biased because, surprise, it's often created by humans with their own biases. We've already seen algorithms discriminate against certain groups of people when it comes to things like loan applications and job recruitment. This is not just unfair, it's dangerous. It perpetuates existing inequalities and creates new ones. This is where the law needs to step in and lay down the law, literally. We need rules, regulations, and some good old-fashioned oversight to make sure AI is used safely, ethically, and for the benefit of all, not just a select few. We need a framework that ensures accountability and transparency. Without it, we're setting ourselves up for a future where technology controls us, rather than the other way around. It's time to take a step back, assess the landscape, and put in place the safeguards that will allow us to harness the power of AI responsibly, only then can we truly unlock its potential for the greater good. Let's talk accountability, folks. When an AI system messes up, who takes the fall? Is it the developer who wrote the code? The company that deployed the AI? Or maybe the AI itself should get a lawyer and a sassy courtroom sketch? This isn't just a philosophical question, it's a legal minefield. Right now there's a lot of confusion about who's responsible when AI goes wrong. And trust me, when you've got powerful technology running around making decisions, 
Things will go wrong at some point. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We need clear legal frameworks to determine liability in the age of AI. We need to know who's responsible, how they'll be held accountable, and what the consequences will be. Without that, we're essentially giving AI a free pass to wreak havoc, and that's not a risk we can afford to take. Section 4 AI, show me your work. The need for transparency in the algorithm is more pressing than ever. As AI systems become increasingly integrated into our daily lives, understanding how they operate is crucial. AI can be a bit of a black box. We often see the results of its computations, but the process behind those results remains hidden. Algorithms make decisions, but often we don't even know how they're making those decisions. This opacity can lead to mistrust and skepticism. It's like going to a magic show and the magician refuses to explain how they pulled a rabbit out of a hat. The trick is fascinating, but the lack of explanation leaves you uneasy. Fun for a minute, but eventually you're like, okay, seriously, what's the deal? This is the same feeling many people have with AI. This lack of transparency is a major problem. When people don't understand how decisions are made, they can't trust the system. When AI is making important decisions about our lives, like who gets a loan, who gets hired, or even who gets medical treatment, the stakes are incredibly high, or even who gets medical treatment, these decisions can have profound impacts on individuals and their futures. We need to be able to understand how those decisions are being made. Without this understanding, we are left in the dark, unable to challenge or question the outcomes. This is where the concept of explainable AI comes in. Explainable AI aims to make the decision-making process of algorithms transparent and understandable to humans. We need to build AI systems that can actually explain their reasoning. This means creating algorithms that can provide insights into how they arrived at a particular decision. It's like asking your GPS, why did you take me this way? And it actually gives you a sensible answer instead of just recalculating in robotic silence. Imagine if your GPS could explain that it chose a route to avoid traffic, or because it was the shortest distance. This level of transparency would build trust in the system. Transparency and explainability are crucial for building trust in AI. When people understand how decisions are made, they are more likely to trust and accept those decisions. If we don't understand how these systems work, we can't trust them to make fair and unbiased decisions. This lack of trust can lead to resistance and pushback against AI technologies. We can't trust them to make fair and unbiased decisions. And trust me, trust is in short supply these days, especially when it comes to technology. And trust me, trust is in short supply these days, especially when it comes to technology. People are increasingly wary of how their data is used and how decisions are made, especially when it comes to technology. To bridge this gap, we need to prioritize transparency and explainability in AI development. Only then can we build systems that are not only powerful, but also trustworthy. Section 5. Teaching Robots. Right from wrong ethics in the age of AI. Listen, we've all seen the Terminator movies. The idea of machines rising up against humanity is a trope that's been explored in countless films and books. It's a scenario that plays on our deepest fears about technology. We know how this ends if we're not careful. A dystopian future where machines rule and humans are subjugated is a nightmare we all want to avoid. But this isn't just science fiction. It's a potential reality if we don't take the ethical implications of AI seriously. We can't just unleash AI into the world without teaching it some manners. Just like we teach our children right from wrong, we need to instill a sense of ethics in our machines. This isn't just about preventing a robot uprising, it's about ensuring that AI can coexist with us in a way that benefits everyone. We need to make sure it understands things like fairness, justice, and basic human decency. These are concepts that are fundamental to human society, and if AI is going to be a part of that society, it needs to understand and respect these principles. This is where things get really interesting, and by interesting, I mean potentially terrifying. The challenge of teaching ethics to a machine is monumental. It's not just about programming a set of rules, it's about creating a system that can understand and apply those rules in a variety of complex, real-world situations. And by interesting, I mean potentially terrifying. The stakes are incredibly high, a malfunctioning AI could cause untold damage, and the more integrated AI becomes in our daily lives, the higher those stakes get. How do you teach a machine about ethics? It's a question that has puzzled scientists and philosophers alike. Do we teach it through examples like we do with children? Or do we try to encode ethical principles directly into its programming? Can you program morality into an algorithm? And if so, 
How do you ensure that the algorithm can adapt to new and unforeseen situations? These are questions that don't have easy answers, but they are questions we must grapple with if we are to create ethical AI. And even if you could, whose morality are we talking about? Different cultures have different ethical standards, and what is considered moral in one society might be seen as immoral in another. This adds another layer of complexity to the challenge of creating ethical AI. These are big questions, folks, and there are no easy answers. But that doesn't mean we can afford to ignore them. The future of AI, and by extension the future of humanity, depends on how we address these ethical challenges. And there are no easy answers. But we can't afford to shy away from these questions. The ethical implications of AI are too important to be left to chance. But here's the thing. We can't just bury our heads in the sand and hope for the best. Ignoring the ethical challenges of AI won't make them go away. In fact, it will only make them more pressing as AI continues to advance. We need to have serious conversations about the ethical implications of AI. These conversations need to involve not just scientists and engineers, but also ethicists, policymakers, and the general public. Everyone has a stake in the future of AI, and everyone should have a voice in how that future is shaped. We need to develop guidelines and regulations to ensure that AI is used for good, not for evil. This means creating a framework that encourages ethical behavior and discourages misuse. It also means being vigilant and proactive in addressing potential ethical issues as they arise. Because the future is coming whether we're ready for it or not, the pace of technological advancement is relentless, and AI is at the forefront of this change. We have a responsibility to ensure that this powerful technology is used in a way that benefits all of humanity.